Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in CSS that is how to create the multiple column layout. So multiple column layout. So this the, for this we are going to use a property called column property and this column property is used to create the content to display the content in multiple columns. And the best example to understand this multiple column concept is the newspaper articles displayed on the newspaper. So that will be in terms of columns, different columns. So the first one in this column property, we will go with the column count and here you need to give the count so that uh, that many columns will be divided, right? The text or the content will be displayed in the given number of columns. If you, if the count is two, then the content will be displayed in two columns. If content is three, the count is three, the, then the content will be displayed in three columns. And the second one, column span. So in order to merge the columns, in order to merge the columns. So here the value is all. If you give the column span as all, it will merge it, right? Next, count rule sorry column rule column rule so rule means which differentiates one, one column with the another column so the first one is a style so here the style of a rule can be given as a solid or dashed or dotted any one of these three should be given to display or to differentiate one column with the another column and similarly, there is a one more uh, a property column rule hyphen width. So here you need to give the width, the, uh, the, the rule which you have set will be in terms of pixels. And the next one column rule color. So which color you need to display here, right? So color name you can give here. So these are all the few properties which are used to create the multiple column layout of the content. So now let us open the notepad and uh, uh, write down the code to demonstrate this column property. So HTML head style proper style tag. So where we are going to write down the style sheets and uh, body tag, right? Now you can observe here. So we'll see. I'll give the division tag division ID is equal to some TXT and uh, I'll close the division tag and here we need to write down the content we'll go with the sample text so in the sample text we are having some content so I'll copy this content I'll paste it twice and uh, now I'll, I'll save it as a column dot HTML and you can observe the icon will be created on the desktop column.html and this is a content. So by default, it is in a single column, right? Single column. So let us uh, give here hash txt font size with a 40 pixel and a font weight with a bold. Now apply, yes, somewhat readability. Now you can apply the column count. The first one is a column count. And if you give here two, the complete content will be divided into two columns. And if you give here is a three, the complete content will be displayed in three columns. And the readability of this content will be from one column after another. So here you can see web development comes with a huge set of rules uh, and techniques every website uh, developer should know about. If you want a website to look and function as you wish to, them to, you need to get familiar with web technologies. That means after ending of this column, this column will be started. So the readability will be from one column to another column. And next one, uh, let us take the H1, let us take the title, so 
So I, am, I have taken the title and you can observe it was merged. Now you can observe, you can you can create the column span, right? So H1 column span or so there you can see column span all means it will merge all the columns you can observe here the web technology was displayed among two different columns so that is because of column span that is because of column span right so like this we can create the multiple column layout with a column count column span means merging different columns to display the titles etc etc so one more thing so the next one column rule so first one in the rule is the style the st style will be if, if it is a solid you can observe a solid line will be differentiated among the columns so i'll decrease the size see so different uh, this one will be applied okay and see this is a solid So this is a solid and here you can also specify the width of the column rule, column rule width. So let us take some 20 pixel. So you can apply here the column width, the rule width, okay, the rule width, the rule width will be 20 pixel. And also you can give the color of the column rule, right, column rule color. Let us take it as a green and you can observe here the green color will be applied. The differentiation will be green color, right? And here there are two more options. One is a solid, another one is a dotted. The rule style will be a dotted, dotted. So you can observe the dotted style is applied and another one is dashed style. See, this is a dashed style. So if you go with a 10 pix, then yes so this is a dash pixel so like that we can apply the content in a multiple column format in an article format okay so these are the properties the column property one is a column count column span column rule style column rule width and column rule color so by using this column property we can display the content in multiple columns differentiating with column rule style right column span is to merge the columns different columns so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much